Hello, welcome to the I Hate Him But I Date Him show. It's not really about hate, it's about relationships, sex, stories. We are live right now. I'm Lauren Jennifer Gates and this is Mikey Williams. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Governor. <laughs> Okay, so we're live right now on alltalkradio.net. If you are listening, which a lot of my friends are, you can watch by going on to alltalkradio.net and clicking on Ustream, okay? So you can see Mikey and I. Um, let's see. We were nominated for an award. I am really big on promoting this because I like that picture. Um, <laughs> because I want to get my first award ever. I like so, your Golden Globes. <laughs> what? Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have an intern today, Maria, a lesbian from last week, and you know what? I'm wow, sorry. wait, she's an intern to lesbian from last week. <laughs> but just the intern for today. <laughs> all right, just, I love it. We're all on today, which is going to make it even more fun. Um, and um, she she was saying last week she's going to intern, so George is going to talk too. So we have four people today. This is great. It's getting a bigger crowd here. Um, if you like our show, even if you don't, please support us. <laughs> if you hate it, please go, folks. <laughs> Hate it, hate it. Um, go on to usiawards.com and just please vote for the I Hate Him But I Date Him show. I will be thrilled to death if I get an award, okay? Please. Right? Please, 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 please. Let's beg and grovel and... I'm going to go vote just because you beg. I don't know women do that that often. <laughs> right? Exactly. That's true, right? Okay. So, uh, what else? Um, oh, if you want to call us and talk about your worst... I want dating breakup stories. That's what I want to hear. What do you want to hear? Worst breakup stories. Worst breakup stories. Or They're always fun. Those are great stories. Well, I, I have a million of them. Breakup stories. They're so sad. I have well, a million of them. More along the lines of revenge breakups. That was oh. Cool. <laughs> I can tell you one. But I want to hear from them, right? Yeah. Okay, we want to hear from you. Please call us. Don't be afraid. 702-605-0498. I finally got the number right. There you go. 702-605-0498 at All Talk Radio Studios. Damn, she's been practicing. I think she's... I've been doing... This is our ninth show. I, you know, I think I know he memorized it. You probably just wrote it on your dildo, and as you're, <laughs> before you get masturbating here, you're like, I remember the number, I remember the number. You know, I'm trying to make a nice, classy show. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Right, and he man. talks about Oops. dildos? Ew. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, speaking of dildos, I don't use a dildo. Once in a blue moon. No, very rarely. I call bullshit. Ah! Oh, Maria! Wow. <laughs> Maria, girls. Sorry. We're supposed to stick together. Okay, but last week, show number seven, if you missed it, I brought in my vibrator. It was show number eight, so apparently they didn't miss it. Fucker. <laughs> show number seven, I hosted the whole show with a see-through top. You need to go to show seven to watch me and Mikey. He said it was his favorite shirt that I ever wore. And um, show eight was where I brought in the vibrator. Thank you, George. And we introduced it to the world. It's very important to everybody. Do you have a name for it? Uh, no. Can we think of one? What's it look like? I want you to name it. Well, you were supposed to watch the show. Oh, my God. That was loud. God dang. Wow, that sounds loud. All right. Get ready. I have a I have a present. Oh goodness. Well, this this one is not a present. I have something. Michael, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Okay, I don't want to 
take the head down? Move yep. this chair over there. Oh, my God. And this is what I have for you today. Excuse me, face this way so that there's no nudity. Oh, oh whoa, wait a second here. You just shut up because you're in trouble. All right, so hold, no, hold your shirt up. The, the no, only you know, I hope his pants don't fall down because someone's going to be aiming in my direction. Mike, Mike, hello. Take it like a man. Shit, it's, it's going to paddle. Oh, my Lord. I'm not going to show his ass except for the side. Now. The side. Yeah. Bend the over. side buttock. Bend over. He's like, I, oh, damn. Oh, oh damn. Jesus. Well, that's oh, not it. Oh, damn. That's not it. That's not it. What's the rapper? This, this show already went oh. weird. <laughs> you know what's happening and why this is happening? I uh, know, but you we... people, do you know why this is happening? Yeah, we this is fucker. Shut up. Okay. We did a show last week. Ass is wider than the ice on comedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. You know, this, let me just tell you why he's getting a spanking. He's a co-host. He couldn't make it last week. That's fine. Okay, we had Luis, and Luis sucked the, uh, or ate the chips off my nips, okay? Yes. The chips that he brought in cookies, we ate the chips off my nips. This They're guy delicious. didn't watch the show. Bend over. Oh, my goodness, Damn. <laughs> but, but not this. <laughs> you know, if you're not like, doing this. He's like, no, I'm not doing this. Okay, bend, bend over. You, bend over. Oh, boy, <laughs> this is going to be WrestleMania. <laughs> You know, I went out and spent good money on this paddle, and he won't even let me use it. That's a chicken shit. Oh my god. That's a ping pong paddle, I think. It's a tack. Is it in there? Yeah. There's a tack in it? That's yeah. tacky. Oh, there you go. All right, that's bend it. over the chair. Nope, that's it. Boom. There you go. Oh my wow. God. Now, the other the other thing we have is <laughs> now see you might get abused on this show. Okay, he didn't watch the fucking show. He watched I part did of it. Watch it. I saw it. I swear. What did you say about Romans? He said something that was probably remarkable and awesome. Excuse me. Stand up. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> She's got sixteen of them in there. So I've got one. All different colors. All right. I want to talk to Mikey today. Okay. <laughs> Oh, but you don't beat him? Yeah. <laughs> I, I like to beat him, and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna give him a gift later. Okay. I beat him, but I treat Spank him. Spank Mikey. I'm crossing it off the list. Oh, that was on your list. <laughs> That's why she didn't want you looking. I saw it earlier. I, I couldn't. I was gonna throw her under the bus. Yeah, he it. sucks. Okay. Any normal co-host would stand up and take it like a man and pull his pants down. All right. So, wow. Luis. This is not prison. This is not prison. No, you have a dominatrix over here. You're supposed to go with the flow. So he check it out. Masks. Right. Exactly. So, Luis, last week, he said, um, oh, how cute, Lori Cape and MHS giving you a shout-out. She says, she texts me, I'm watching live, love it, woo she should call in to 702-605-0498. We got a caller. Yay! She's probably right now, she's probably right now. Well, this caller just saved Mikey's ass. Masturbating, watching you beat him. Hello, who is it? Joan, Joan Donato. Who's this? This is Bill Johns. Remember me from Montclair High School? Uh, of course I do. And, and call me Johnny, please. Let it make it be cool. <laughs> wow. What's up, Bill? How Good, how are you? A uh, lot of different problems here. I'm a type 1 diabetic, and I'm kind of like suffering through a lot of different issues right now. Um, I'm hanging in the best I can, to speak the least. Um, pretty much um, trying to get my blood sugars regulated, and I uh, had, had an operation recently, and I'm, I'm not too happy, but I'm hanging in there the best I can. Well, Good. I'm glad to hear that. I had an operation, too. I just had my penis removed and a bigger one put on. <laughs> Thank you, George. Oh, yes, yes, this show. Hi, Bill. This show is about relationships and sex, so of course George is keeping it real. And you know what? It's true because I saw the operation. <laughs> she did it. I, I did, did it. it. She yeah, actually did got it. his old dick in a bag. Yeah, exactly. So, it's a very small bag, but she's got it. <laughs> yes. So today we're talking about you're, romance. You're, you're, you know, at least I think like you have kind of like beat me. That is for the Guinness. Well, you, you, um, I haven't beat you for the Guinness Book of World Records. I think I have because like um, the last time I dated here in New Jersey had to be really back like in almost like maybe 2001 well then what kind of story is here well then what kind of story can you share with us that's uh, that's 11 years <laughs> maybe you're afraid you're going out there and dating again is that it <laughs> I mean, I mean, the dating scene is absolutely terrible here. Uh, you, you know, I could... Terrible there. Oh, it's absolutely terrible. Come to Vegas, man. It's Come to worse. Vegas and you'll think Jersey is a freaking <laughs> icing on the cake. Well, do you have a tan? <laughs> oh, 
I mean, I mean, it's weird, you know, like, well, I, you know a little bit about me somewhat, there's when we talked and everything, and also, like, when I wrote you a couple of letters and stuff, you know, I don't want to really go into your full detail of what I'm looking for, you know, but I guess your friend, I guess, like, uh, Miss Gutman, I think your, your friend is just a, a pretty funny mom, I forgot her name, but it's like a Miss Gutman-like, I kind of like that type, you know, a little bit, you know? Well, that's interesting, she just, she just found a boyfriend, but what's interesting is I was just speaking about her. We should be rid of them. Yeah, she's she's my she's my best friend. She's one of my very best oh, friends. Okay. And we were just talking about her to my friend Mikey. That's what we were talking about. Oh, really? Well, messages. You know, I don't know what to say about this except to get out there and, and date. It's 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 a you think it's bad over there because that's where I had all my successful relationships. It's when I moved away from there that they all went crazy. But I don't know what to say. I think you need to just get out there and date and and have a positive attitude and and treat each person like they're you know. It's a fresh start. And if that doesn't work, Pennsylvania's close by. There's a lot of farm animals. So. <laughs> That's ultimately really all you can try to do. You know, I've got you know, a little, like, um, health issue here. I'm going to try to get back out there in the scene again. And also, too, like, it seems like it's weird because I do better as over in um, Europe and I do better as out of state sure. and what I do here in, you know, beautiful New Jersey, which I'm trying to get out of. And um, you won't be seeing me at the class reunion either in November because I hated Montclair High School. School. All right, all right. Well, I love Monkler High School. I cannot bash Monkler High. I had the best time. I was a cheerleader. I had good boyfriends I, over there. And she brought her pom poms <laughs> with her today. <laughs> And I know you did. You know, like, like I said, you're an, you're an absolute sweetheart, and I wish I had asked Thank you about you. paying all my attention to Linda Sophia. Oh, all right. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you thanks for calling there. in. Thanks for calling in, John. We appreciate it. We got listeners from Monkler High School. And, John, we hope all your body parts stay on until the next time we talk. <laughs> Yay! All right. Well, I just have to say that thank you for calling. It's really it, takes, cool. it, nice takes, it takes a lot to call, and oh, I thanks. and I and I feel for him with with the. the um, years. But we want to keep it positive here because what happened with our depressing show is it, you know people people tell me they want to keep it positive. So shout out to MHS. I know he had a hard time there. I loved it. I was a freaking cheerleader. I had a blast. You're kidding with the football team. We we had such a great time. Parties all the time. Maybe you should uh, redo that again. What? She had a blast, not with the entire football oh. game. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't sound. Well, I, I, I'm excited to believe no, you. Yeah, I, I, I was a one woman man, but the guy that I cheered at, wait. You were one woman man. That makes a lot of sense. You know what? Okay, now I don't care if there's nudity. Pull it out. I want to see this. <laughs> Your name was Johnny DeMario. <laughs> One man, woman. I was very loyal. And you know what? The guy that I cheered for, number 11, MHS, Monty Lippman, is now the president of Universal Records. What do you know? Because I cheered for him. That's why. Okay. I want to be best friends with him. I have a gift. I have a gift for somebody. <laughs> no, that wasn't a gift. That was... And you didn't. You don't even deserve this. It was a gift. You don't even deserve wow. this because you didn't take it like you were supposed to. Um, a few weeks ago, we discovered that this fucking guy can't even... What the hell are you doing over there? ...can get a... Hold on. Can't even get fucking underwear. We had a show on. We had a, sh we had a show on boxers and briefs. She bought you so underwear. I got him <laughs> underwear. Is, such is that why you were asking me earlier what size I wear? Yes, because I got you some too. Oh wow. <laughs> Here you go, baby. But I didn't know. I got extra large for you. She got extra large. Well, this is a gift. I wanted to get a package room, I guess. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to get a funnier, like, underwear. But these are really hot. They're boxer briefs. This way, if they wear boxers, uh, I, I like boxer briefs. Go here, George. Here you go. Thank you. That's very sweet. You're welcome. All right, here you go. And I got the I got the gift thing in there. So if you, if you want to return or get a different size. Thank you. Well, there's nothing in there for me. All right, well, what I do have for myself is this. Miriam. Miriam gets rid of wrinkles. Maria, you didn't see this bottle? No, I didn't. No? It gets rid of wrinkles. I see it now. <laughs> <laughs> it gets rid of wrinkles. I'm not joking. Um, but you I don't have any. Well, what are you trying to get rid of? I swear to God, I had a bunch of wrinkles here, and this got rid of them in 11 days. And I've never had them since. I use it every night. Um, sometimes I forget to use it on my face, and my wrinkles start showing up again like crazy. So this is awesome. Go to uh, makeachange.miriam.com. Makeachange.miriam.com. N-E-R-I-U-M. But thank you, Maria. Okay, and like I said, if you, you know, 
you can't use it. Doesn't get rid of rakers on the penis. <laughs> That's a good question. You Let should me try that for some guy. All right, come over here. Oh no, no I don't have rakers. I don't even have a penis. Remember? Put it on your penis. Come on. You got the back over there. You have a twenty-one-year-old dick. I'm that old. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Oh, I like her. I really like your intern. <laughs> and she's a lesbian. Last week, I have to say this because I've been looking desperately for a fill-in co-host for when Mike's not here because he's my guy, or a guest that's gay or um, bisexual. Wow, that's going to be your fill-in. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what I want? Well, first of all, when he won the con he won a contest to get on the show, but I said I hope you're gay because I, I want an edgy. He said, No, I'm not gay. I was like, All right, I'll do. I'll just do with you. It's all right. You know. <laughs> Poor guy is like, Oh, thanks a lot. She was so depressed. But I think he might be bi. Are you bi? Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't see it because you know she I'm threw the you right on the Am I by? Yes. Yes, you are. Yes. Yes. I am. I have never looked at pussy in my life. I haven't. But my boy Adam goes off. Like. What <laughs> me? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. No, but I do like bisexual guys if they're really cute. It's not that oh, I. Okay. Okay. What does he want this bisexual guy to do? Just well, let, me, fantasy. let me just let me just he, he. specify to Maria. Oh wait, I forgot to show. I brought myself underwear too. So mine's like a fancy. Here, here. <laughs> yeah, so How you, I mean, it's easy to miss. There's not nothing there. <laughs> what is that? Um, it's a thong. A beautiful satin That's silky. How can I let me ask a question? A piece of cloth. <laughs> you didn't. I mean, I know you didn't get to finish your last topic, but I need to ask I this question. Do. Why do women enjoy pieces of cloth between their ass cheeks? Let me they tell you. I have what they used to call. I can't say it on air. Something but. N but. The N word. They used to call me N oh, but. So you had, a, you had a Negro bubble butt. You got a I, had, I had a beautiful ass. I ruined it. But, but I did. Yes, I had a beautiful ass. And they used to call me that in school. And then when these that. came out. I had a beautiful ass too, but Jail ruined mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, when this came out, I was thrilled to death because it was the most uncomfortable thing because my butt was so bubbly. Why am I going like this? I'm just going to talk like this. My butt was so bubbly that it right. kept riding up the butt. So, these are the most comfortable thing on See, the you planet. can barely hear you. You're not talking to that microphone. That's la, 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 la. Okay. <laughs> so, underwear crossed out. Good gift. Okay. So, what was I saying? <laughs> you don't even remember, I do you? I miss romance. You're about to tell her a story. Romance. Oh, I was going to say about why bisexual men. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't look for them. What happens is I date a guy, and then I find out they're bisexual, and it's happened to so me about three thing, times. You have a thing for bisexuals? Yeah, I like guys that dress nice. Yes. But I'm not bisexual. It's funny that she said she thought I was bisexual, because so, I think Mikey is, but... Well, then what do you think it is no. that turns you on with a bisexual guy? Because if if your relationships you've been with these bisexual men have not worked out, why would you keep beating yourself with the same bi dick? They don't work <laughs> out... <laughs> They don't work out whether they're bisexual or not. So what's the difference? I might as well have fun. I don't know. Wait a minute, but how do you? Okay, I need I need specification on this one. All right. How do you have fun if they're bisexual? Does another man join in? Because if you two are having sex or intimate times together, uh, that's just could be the same with a regular guy. So Excuse what me. makes it so much different that they're bisexual? Besides, another male would be involved. I'm guessing. Here's the thing. Here's here the go. sad thing. Oh, here we go. No, it's very sad. It's a sad story, Mike. Uh, well, don't make me cry. Got up tissues over here. No, what's sad is I don't know they're bisexual until after we break up because oh. I find out from they know, banged another man. They're afraid to tell me. See, and the thing is, I'm cool, and they don't they don't tell me because they don't know that they can say. So you'd be like Johnny. Look, it's okay. You can suck a dick in front of me. <laughs> I'd love it. From now on, I'm gonna. <laughs> We get off um, watching that. Gay porn. I'm asking the questions here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Take it off of me. I don't watch porn. I fucking hate porn. I need the real thing. I love porn. porn. My fantasies are porn. I'm serious. I hate porn. Porn is right okay. here in my so head. So it's not porn. Is it real? Would you would you enjoy getting? Would you get off on another man making out with another man in front of you? Why am I? What are you, Scott Pritchard, putting me on this porn? You're damn right I am because you're the one that's saying the gay stuff. I would right absolutely now. get up. This is. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. I absolutely hmm. would. Two good-looking guys kiss. I had two guys kiss one time in a limo. My girlfriend and I. When we were, yeah, we went out to New York. I Maria, told you I drank so much shocked. that night. Maria's so shocked. <laughs> you could just, I was like, kiss, 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 kiss. And they did, and it was so fucking hot. They didn't French kiss, right? See this face? Are you sure they meant it? Or were you just really intimidated? Am I sure they fucking, meant are you it? Sure they didn't come together? Like, no, <laughs> no. They, I said, I want you, we both, her and I were egging each other, egging, egging them on, and they did it. It was hot. So then you're more like a, uh, you're, you're like a, um, 
you're like a go-between for gay men to set them up. Yeah. No, yeah. I want them. That's what I'm saying. You, <laughs> cut, you, you, you know, you make a very poor middleman. Fuck the middleman. You cut yourself out myself. every fucking time. Exactly, right? I'm hooking them up. All right. Romance. Last week, Michael, yes, if you were listening to your own show, I tried. that's why you got a spanking. Um, you fucking battle. Our, our guest, Louise, I know, right? The battle, do you love that? I took him, listen, I picked him up, okay? And I took, and I went to Target, I made him stay outside, and I got the fucking battle while he's outside my car. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you can't look in that bag. Romance. Louise, last week, said, well, we were talking about romance, and somehow he was talking about looking ass. And I know you, so far. You're not that type of guy. I want to hear about what you think romance is and how to romance a girl. How did he get from romance to fucking eating ass? You ask him. Uh, can we? Can you call? Well, <laughs> what I said was, that's not romance. I was screaming. And Maria was involved too, and she's here today. So I'd like I'd like an explanation. Yeah, let's, let's hear your explanation. Ass eating. Let's see where we're here. How is his, uh... Does that make him an ass munch? <laughs> well, let me ask Let me ask Mike. I want to ask you, what, what do you think about romance? What do I think about romance? Romance? Yeah. What I think romance is. You tell me whatever. I think romance is slowly dying, but it's getting better. Yes. Does that make sense? Okay, now why? Oh, Mikey, we need to talk more than that microphone. I know he's getting on romantic over there trying to get that smooth line. He's right <laughs> <in> the microphone. <laughs> no, he's better All right, now. go ahead. Well, it's definitely dying because, I mean, but then again, you have so many outs with social networking and phones and shit like that that romance is slowly dying out. You can date someone here and fucking talk to somebody here and they'll never know. You know? That's so true. And it's Bad. But when you, if a girl if, okay romance what is it to you what, what is, is it, to it? Me? yeah it's love okay how if, is you, it? if you're with someone and you don't have to be doing anything romantic but it just seems romantic that's fucking romance you know what I'm saying like if you're with someone but you're happy details. and you I'm not happy with this answer I okay. want more my co-host I am making him work today okay <laughs> since he didn't watch the show and he missed the he missed the ass <laughs> like a moment I mean that was okay. more like a player like he had he had a play by play no offense we loved him. He was great, but he had a play-by-play on how to pick up women. What, if you want to romance a woman, specifically, if what do you do? If I want to romance a woman? Yeah, if you're trying to get a woman. Well, you go out, but this is the perfect time to do it and just stay away from the fucking strip. It's okay, what do you do? Go out, you know. And do what? Dinner, movie, date, <laughs> drinks, whatever. <laughs> it's been a little while since we're Okay, how about flowers? Do you still do flowers? Flowers, yeah. You can yeah. do flowers. Okay. But different flowers, not basic yes. roses. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. High, High five. five. High five. <laughs> or a two. Or a sunflower. Yeah, those freaking, yeah. Seriously, one sunflower even. Okay. What's your favorite right. flower? Mine? Oh, you're so cute. My favorite flower, I have quite a few. My favorite flowers are very different flowers. Um, I love the uh, calla lily when it's closed. It's a very elegant, very, it's it's interesting because you can use a calla lily. They're used for weddings and for funerals. That's I was going to say, don't they use for funerals yeah. too? Yeah. Kind of the same thing. And golden daisies are beautiful because they're very brilliant in color. They remind me of uh, a vagina. It's a very beautiful vagina. <laughs> <laughs> golden daisies or calla lily? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and you like them when you see them? <laughs> yeah. What? <Yeah. laughs> they're beautiful, aren't they? They're they very are. classy. And I love Gerber daisies because they're brilliant. I love tulips. For it's sure. Thank you, Michael. Why, are you going to bring me flowers next week? Because you should. I got your fucking underwear. You got me a paddle. Okay, the underwear <laughs> is a treat. The paddle is what you got me. Bring flowers. Bring flowers. Okay, well, he's not trying to romance me because we heard that he has a, a date this week. A date this week? <laughs> Couple of weeks. Congratulations. Okay, you know the yeah. girl that he was doing, and we were all oh talking about this. <laughs> well, you said she wasn't your girlfriend. This week, she's your girlfriend. It is. All right, yeah. sorry, girl. Do you know what romance is? What okay. is romance? Hell, so, finally, he's thinking about it. That's why I said, let's practice. You don't um, know what the hell you're talking um, about. Well, it's one of the more romantic things I've done. Tell me, a strip. Well, yeah, well, let's stay away from the strip. Is this that's, romance? That is not romance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it depends on what side of the strip you're on. But. <laughs> right, right, okay. What well, is romance? Okay, so the way I asked her out is she, her favorite band is a band called Sleeping With Sirens. And she's never seen him before, and so we went to, to Rock the Block, which is a little festival here in Psalm. <coughs> and during her favorite song, we were up in the front, and it was me and Jared, and then her, we threw her up on Jared's shoulder so she could see. Aww. And then when she Why came back, yours? well, I was standing behind her holding her, oh, and okay. I was like, picked her up, and Jared went down, and he wanted a better ass view. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Exactly. It just happened to work. Um, 
um, yeah, and then during your favorite song, which happened, it's a hard rock song, but they turned it into acoustic, and during your favorite line, I asked her out. Yeah, so. You asked her out during her favorite song? Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Favorite line. Hello, well, why, she, didn't, why didn't you have that answer before? Well, that's, that's not, a perfect that's answer. That's not technically romance. That's, that's not romance, is. is it? No. Well, that's that's not romantic. romantic. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's... Maria, we have to talk to Maria a minute. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, what is romantic, Maria? You said lick an ass. I don't think that's romantic. <laughs> I think that's a sexual one. Like, I want to fuck you tonight. I want to lick your ass. And then, you know? I like your story. I like your story. Thank you. Okay, what is Maria? Romantic. Romantic to me is, you know, just sitting outside with some blankets in a park and, you know, looking at the at the moon and the stars, connecting the dots, just, you know, something not, I don't like dates that are, you know, about the money. Okay, but wait a minute, his story, this is good, was, was not about the money, was about a beautiful song that's an acoustic song, which I love when you take a hard song like Nirvana, you know, they took that song, whatever, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh my god, it gets me wet, those songs. So, I like when a really hard rock band makes yeah, an acoustic look those songs up. <laughs> <laughs> what is it nothing else matters by metallica that's a hot oh, song yeah, yeah. sexy hot song um but what he did was so i thought that's romantic i mean it's, it is but it's like her? i like her view on romance when yeah. you just sit like if you can that's feel romantic you. just being together <laughs> right know? but that's what you have that yeah. connection and that spark exactly you know, yeah being at a you don't need to go out concert. to do it but what i'm trying to get at here for the for the listeners and for the viewers is they, they want to know ideas, what to do, how to, how to romance a girl, how to romance a guy. They want to know what to do. You so eat that great, ice. great. <laughs> Good answer. Mom, I don't know this guy. I picked him up at, a, I don't know, you pass stores. I don't know. Um, okay, well, George, do you know how to romance a woman? I want to hear this. Massage her feet. You got to look in here. Yes. You, don't try to mas- you don't try to romance anybody. True romance mm-hmm. comes from within the person as you know them. You can't yeah, truly. We'll see this later. Go ahead, George. Yeah, you can't truly romance somebody. You can go out, you can have a good time, you can get a connection with them. The romance does not come until later on when there's truly a feeling for that person. So what you need to do is you need to go out, you need to find out what that person likes, you enjoy that with them, and then as the the evening goes on, the more touching, the more feeling, make sure you make a lot of contact with them. Make sure it's about them. Because if it's not about them, it's never going to be romantic. They're never going to feel that way for you. And then the next second or third date, then the romance can start to kick in. You know that person more. You've got a connection to feeling and the romance will just kick in no matter what you do whether it's holding hands or you're going shooting skeet ball but it see, will be there right but you know what that's an ambiguous thing because I'll tell you why why I need the viewers and the listeners to get tips we're like an advice line here okay? that's damn good well it was but what it's saying is I want to date him though I, maybe <laughs> so, <laughs> Jay, Mike, that's my first one in a year and a half <laughs> I told you he was bisexual <laughs> bi. exactly and the way things I'm bi I've never licked a pussy I can't look a pussy I can't. But I've had my bum. pussy lick, but I but I'm not bi. I still <laughs> like it. No, wow. well, I have my dick sucked, but I'm not weird. queer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, toe sucking. Did you see? Um, I did. Did I you did see, see Lily one. suck my toes and Polo? I'm a trooper. Polo, right? Polo did too. Right. Well, I went online and looked up a bunch of toe sucking videos because I yeah, have one called Suck My Toes. Yes. That's the thing. My toe sucking video is called Suck My Toes. It's on my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash Lauren Jennifer with one N Gates, and right. it has 100 Playboy videos. Yes, and it has 145,000 hits. My point is, I saw a video of uh, what is that New Jersey Housewives okay oh, I want to do a show like that uh, it would blow that it away fit so well. I know well I'm not a housewife that's why I couldn't make the show but we could pretend I could have pretended <laughs> Melissa Gorga is it Melissa I wrote it down okay yes and Joe Gorga she's like Joey I want you to come rub my legs and he comes and rubs her legs and he starts feeling her feet and I was like oh my god like everyone is into this toe sucking shit you missed out I just want to show you my shoes today I'm oh, not going to ask Mike to suck my toes because he already did twice. These are the shoes we have today. Very nice shoes. Can you see them, Maria? They're sexy. Very sexy. You can stab someone in the FMPs. heart. FMPs. I know. You better Good watch. Lord. You better behave yourself. Damn. And paddles to shoes. Okay, so romance. Basically, we've got that. Now, let's talk about our next topic. What, it, what was it about? Um, dating children? Yeah. Dating children. Dating children. Oh, oh my yes. God. Here we go. Who this? Let me put in the... Uh, yeah, there was this little three-year-old. I gave her some candy one day. <laughs> what George, the hell are you I talking it. about? I knew you it. You should see my van. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> 
Oh, oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Let me show you. I got I got I got you know ice cream music when I ride down the street playing all the time. <laughs> you know, Mike and I have little girls. We gotta watch out. Let me tell you. I'll oh, fucking go get my taser. Go get my taser right there in that purse and show these oh, people. Oh, sit next to me. Yeah, I'll tase their asses. Okay, let's talk about it. Children in the dating game. Chil- you wrote children in the dating game. No, it's dating children. Dating. Dating. Oh again. my lord. Dating. Again. Dating with. <laughs> dating with children. Wait, not dating with children. So I can't. We're gonna get one of those little dolls out and say she touched you where? <laughs> I can hear the FCC. Having children. Going. I know. And dating. There you go. Having children and dating. dating. In the dating. Okay. Oh no. Let me wait. <laughs> There's no right way to word this. Okay. Don't fuck. Dating me. while you have children. Okay, not with you. Speaking of which, I did with a guy one time, and he tried to have sex with me while my daughter was in the living room. It was like dark, and we were watching How a movie. How you? That's disgusting, isn't it? There's, 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 a certain, certain thought. there's a certain range. Yeah, there's a certain range. You can I mean, that's like saying you can't have sex because your kids are in an entire okay. fucking house. Exactly. No, no, no. She was in the living room, and mind you... Oh, so you don't know how far away you're living yeah. and you're, where you're, you know, your yeah, population you know, was Let happening. me explain. It's, I feel like I'm being interrogated. Yeah, you are, because we're like wanting some right now. We're thinking, hey, you know, this is not going to work. <laughs> You know what? It happened to me more than once. Like, guys, don't freaking have sex with a woman when she has a baby in the room or a child in the room. That's disgusting. <laughs> what do you think? First of all, let me tell you about children. What? What do I miss it? No, I said that. <laughs> I'm trying to be alert this time. I said, what if you only have one room? I have a feeling that you've done that. Well, yeah, I'm not going to have one room. Who has one room? I'm saying you, you live in an apartment and you have one room that you a stay studio, in. A studio apartment. No, you have two rooms, but you got a roommate. And he's in the other fucking room, and you're in this room. Where's the child? In your room? Well, if you got a roommate, he's a cameraman. That could be at least 100 yards. Yards? That's a that football field. 100 that's yards, my God. Let, let me just tell you guys. That child. I'm going to tell you. That's from here to 7-Eleven. I'm going to tell you. So you can't have sex because we're 100 yards in range. I'm going to tell you because you have a daughter. Okay. Don't do it, and I'll tell you why. These kids are freaking, they're smart. Dude. My daughter called me one time. And let me tell you something. I know, I was like, stop, stop. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Don't do it. Well, how, old is she, how old is she? When, when this was your happening. daughter's age. 14 months? You know, you're perfect as you should have been. No, you know, no. remember the Roto Rooter guy was here? He missed a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, what did they. <laughs> I'm not saying I condone it, but I'm saying you gotta work with what you got. Alright, let's skip this because I'm getting mad at these guys. Um, no, I'm just kidding. No, let's talk about it. It's hard to date when you have children, right? Yes, it is. Now, why? Because I, the way I see it is you have to look forward when you're with that person. Is she gonna be or are you gonna be good parent material in the future? Uh-huh. Because there's no point in dating somebody if you're not going to see a future with them. See, I see eye to eye with him, and I'll tell you why. That's exactly the point he was telling me today about this girl. And uh, I that's, see that's like exactly that. what you have to... I don't see it like that. I, see it. I see it exactly as how my kid's going to accept this person. I think about my kids oh, first. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. So, yeah, so it's one of those deals where it's, it's um, you know, your children are the ones that obviously are going to have the biggest problem with it. It's right. not their mommy or their daddy. Right. So when it comes down to it, you've got you, you to balance it out just right. And, of course, if you're into this person, and that's one of the hardest parts about dating somebody and getting with them without the children being involved because now you've got to somehow introduce the kids. Now, you may have already fell in love with this person, but now what if it doesn't work between the children and the person you really care about? Exactly. So there's a hard rock to hit once you do if it does work out that okay. way. Well, I think it depends on the age of the kids as well. Because right. if, you, if you have like a baby and, you, and, you, and she's always known that the parents have been separated, it would be different. But if you were together and then stop being together, then <laughs> if you were together and stop being together when they were coherent enough to understand what was going on. Well, the best on. way to take care of that, too, is have them wear a t-shirt, I'm mommy or daddy, to say it all the time, just <laughs> kind of subliminally, you know, trying, you know, they, it in. As they, yeah. So, okay, so don't have sex when there's a kid in the room, and you know what else? Um, oh, someone's calling, hold on. I'm not going to get it because I don't recognize the number. Um, just don't do it. Just, you know what, get a babysitter or have the, your child in, the, in another room watching TV with somebody that you trust. Yeah, but she doesn't even watch TV. Well, you just don't have sex while oh, you're saying you're just worried about them coming walking in on you. So it's not the fact that you're having sex because they're... Okay. Already... If you think that kids don't know, okay, what's going on, they know. That's what I'm saying. You have okay? to understand that. It's, Get it's, a room. It's, you do. It's a bedroom. Exactly. No. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to something else. I'm getting bored. Yeah, just... Okay. <laughs> All right. No, basically, basically, it is difficult if you have children and dating.
fascinating. We've had some stories. We've talked about them, but not on, not on the air. It's very difficult because you have to get a babysitter and you got blah, 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 blah. It's very, very, very difficult. Yeah. Well, and that's, that's what's weird because I can't, I'm like doing a babysitter. I was telling you earlier, I'm not yeah. going to do daycare for a while. Right, which like is great. It, until she can understand sentences and so if yeah. something happens, I can know what's going on. Well, not only that, you can't trust babysitters that, that much. Yeah, nanny I've, camps. Had, I've had some, yeah, I've had some stories and nanny cam only catches what they already have done. Yeah, exactly. That's the worst part. Exactly. Um, okay, so uh, today's world versus old school. And the dating man, I'm not laying my jacket down for any lady. <laughs> Damn! It's a it's a nice jacket. I'm not doing it. Step around. Holy shit! <laughs> all right. That's and my all kind the, of guy. All the women just went. Wow. I'm sorry. I don't mean it. I do, but I don't. What do you do? Well, it's uh, old school versus new school. Like I said, the whole social networking has completely changed dating. Mm-hmm. If there wasn't the internet, if there wasn't cell phones, it would be still. Fifty percent of marriage. Exactly. Fifty percent of marriage is ending divorce these days. You know, so I thought it was like eighty percent. Either way, it's still fucking more than it should be. Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> we should look that up. We should definitely look that up. Um, and w- why do you think that is? Because there's so many ways that people can cheat these days. I mean, people always cheated in the past, but love is disposable nowadays. That's now, why. Now, yeah, and now we catch them is what it is. But I got news for you. Um, oh, it says you're watching commercials. Eeks, is there commercials on? No, that's just a new stream. Is that that same guy again? No, it's a girl. Well, that's because they're probably watching the stream that will kick in a commercial. Yeah. Once in a while, but then they can't There's trust, nothing we can do right? about that, right? No, it'll just. The Ustream has their own. Ustream will run its own spots, yeah. its own commercial okay. spots. All right. Um, what were we talking about? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know what I think. Here's the thing with me. Um, I've been cheated on a lot, and I've caught them. Whether it was like uh, the 80s, 90s, 2000s, whatever. Okay, it is what it is. But it, what you said struck a chord. You said it's easier to cheat. It, it, men shouldn't be cheating well, anyway. No, Women should be cheating anyway. Well, yeah, but it's it, people are always going to do that, no matter what. If you have somebody who's faithful, then really, you hear that? that? Is that true? People will always cheat. No, not yeah. every person, but they're, they're, in the entire world, they don't cheat. cheat a segment of people. I don't. I you don't. don't cheat. And we've talked about this. And I really believe you because I don't believe a lot of guys. I believe George doesn't cheat. No, I do not. See? And I believe this. Maria no cheats, maybe. Oh, I'm just kidding. Know. I'm kidding, Maria. Oh. No, Maria, I'm so no, joking. Never. <laughs> never. Oh, wait, just by her answer, yes, she did. <laughs> <laughs> Me? No, never. <laughs> no. I no, seriously never cheated on that. No. No. Really? It's not. That's not All right, so we have either four non cheaters or four liars. In this room, I don't know. <laughs> you be the judge. Right. Okay, but you have to be more specific on cheating because in the lesbian world, there's a lot of. See, there's a technicality she's trying to jump through there. Yeah, what are the differences? I want to have Maria on the show. Can you sit over here? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's fine. Maria, let me just preface this. Maria exposed that she's a lesbian last week, and I loved it because I want to talk to you. We want to talk to you about, about your preference. Okay. Okay. Um, but there's differences because, okay, in the lesbian world, if you just kiss a girl, that's not technically considered cheating. Well, French kissing them or just if a smooch on the lips? Just, just wait a minute. If you're lips. dating someone, why would you be kissing another woman on the lips? It would be considered French. Right? Right? Which set of lips are we talking to about, too? This, in the lesbian <laughs> community, <laughs> in the gay community, everyone is going to know everyone and everyone's going to, you know, kiss everyone. It's just like that. So you're saying what it's a big orgy in the gay lesbian community? Herp- I'm, I'm a germaphobic. I don't kiss people on the lips. Herpes. Yeah. Um, that's how you get hurt. Herpes. I don't kiss people on the fucking lips. No. Yes. No, I don't. I've never had herpes. I got herpes from my uncle. He kissed me on the lips one day. We're Italian. All my way, my little fans will understand that joke. Oh, I was like, what? What did you say, George? No, what did George say? George is so funny. What George? George, say it again. I said I got herpes from my uncle. He kissed me on the lips. We're Italian. Are you Italian? Yeah, you didn't know that? No, you don't look Italian. Yeah, I'm Italian. Italian and Indian. Indian. An Indian? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, very cool. Interesting. Okay. All right. So what's our next one? Social networking, yeah. Texting. I hate the whole texting thing. I How do you know it. if things I are getting are getting serious? How do you know if things are getting serious, Michael? How do you know if things are getting serious? That's what I said. You ain't that ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yes, that just means you're just down for some... That's just the greatest phrase I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You just start to realize it over time. It's okay. It's something you feel. Hey, you wrote the, you wrote the subject, I so what do, you, what do you think about it? It's something you start to feel over nice time. Nice book. You, you could... You know how, like, when you first see someone, you get a certain, like, ooh, you know, you can determine whether or not... Quoi? Who was, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Je ne sais quoi? No, no one's French, right? I guess French blowjob. <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look it up. All right, go ahead, keep going. 
Oh, goodness. Um, yeah, but you get that feeling when you first see something, because everyone will be able to decipher, I think it's like, what, seven seconds, whether or not you were attracted to somebody? Seven seconds. Last week we talked about every se seven seconds men think about sex. Did you see that? No. No, he didn't fucking watch the show. No, I'm just good co-host, that, 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 that calls for a paddle. <laughs> oh, boy. No. That calls no. for a oh, yes. that. If you don't turn around, you're going to get it on the dick. What? I need more kids at some point in time. <laughs> so, Bend over. No, I'm, I'm, okay, there you go. There you go. That's <laughs> That's a, I don't know. Oh, listen, everybody, listen. Shit. Ow! If you have your radios on, turn them down. I'm going to take the plastic off. It's adding this rubber for a reason. Maybe I can turn this thing if you're not using it right. <laughs> if you're not using it right, you don't want to be beat. You know, I, this gun, when I shot you, didn't die. I'm going to return it. <laughs> you didn't use it right. This <laughs> All right, let me just promote my business, Jadakins, okay? Jadakins. If you uh, forget to... What did he say? I got herpes from my rabbi at Brisk. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just wrote in. I got herpes from my rabbi at, at my Brisk. Oh, my Brisk. God. That's really right. fucking awesome. I wish that girl would call in or guy, whatever, whatever it is. All right. Jadakins, for those of you who are too lazy to wear condoms or forget or they break, Jadakins is my business. Too my lazy. daughter was born. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're in the moment, you're like, ah, I don't feel like going over to that nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> That's just poor choices right there. Right. I thought you were talking about going to like a 7-Eleven well, and buying new ones. How did you have a baby? It was too far away from Poor choices. Oh <laughs> we got to explain this to you, Laura. <laughs> okay, a drunk you take the penis out. On the wrong side of the strip. On the wrong side of the strip. Exactly. I meant poor choice. Or what, what was it planned? No, it was not planned. Poor choice, because you didn't, but thank God, right? Yeah. She's she a little, saint. Cutest little nugget. All right, so... Jadakins, jadakins.com or tinytucker.com. Uh, yeah, Cam. Yeah, I can talk. Tinytucker.com. My number's on there for um, my office to order Tiny Tucker. I gave one to your friend James. I hope he gave it to somebody. Oh, he did. He gave it to uh, sister. That's awesome. You swaddle the baby and you put the Tiny Tucker over it. And it's super cute. There's like 250 one of a kind handmade designs. They got into Whole Foods and 16 boutiques. They're hot. Awesome. Um, and uh, I want to sell them to you. Okay. There you go. So, what else? Yeah. Thanks, honey. Good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> We're going to make tiny tuckers for dicks soon. What? Tiny fuckers, we'll call them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else you got? Uh, you start picking whatever you no, want. No, you need it. Okay. You come up with something. You're, you're the you know check off list. I read all my shit that I came up with. <laughs> I want to know where your checkoff list is. Oh, uh, right here. Yeah. Oh, paddle paddle Michael's ass. Yeah. Give him underwear. Give George underwear too. <laughs> what did you think about romance, which you fucking failed? Because Fuck you didn't. You. No, you I'm didn't good. fail the answer, but you. No, your answer was great, but you failed because you didn't watch the show. Majority <laughs> Housewives, Sucking Toes, Lauren Jennifer Gates, Yahoo.com. Kit, let me give a, a shout out to Kit. You know the song in the beginning? There's a rap. Okay, it's a really good rap. Kiss and, a lot of frogs. Yes, Kiss a lot of frogs is a song I wrote and sang, and uh, Kit is a rapper. Awesome rap, okay? Blah, blah, blah. Vote for the USI award. Kit, no, Kit, no, but that's good. Kit is a, a great guy. He's a good rapper, and I asked him to write a rap to that song because it's about my relationships, about how I kiss a lot of frogs. And let me tell you, I'd like to tell a story about a relationship. What do you guys want to hear about? A bad, a a bad breakup. Mm -hmm. That's a, a bad, bad breakup? breakup. Okay. Really the worst one you've ever been through. Oh, I'm still feeling it. And it's not because I was so in love. It's because of the way it was done. Bad breakup, okay? Met a guy in Las Vegas. I was living in New Jersey. Okay, my right there. No, 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 no. He lived in LA. I lived in New Jersey. I met him at a pool. I was I was singing for my girlfriend's wedding, um, and I met him at this pool in in Vegas. So he didn't live in Vegas. Great job. He, uh, I don't know if I should say. You uh, should just start pulling them out. Yeah. Throw them out there. I know. Hands. All right. He did the whole data network for the LA Times. Great job. Oh, wow. Great guy. Probably one of my favorites as far as I got along really well with him. He was sort of like a hippie-ish kind of looking guy, but yet he was like white, uh, white collar, but yet hippie-ish guy. It's hard to explain. Yeah, that is. He had a good job. Hipster. Yeah. He was really cool. Great, great guy. We got along really, really well. And all of a sudden, I won't say his name. You uh, should totally say his name. No. Definitely Bob. not say his name. No. <laughs> See, is that the one? It was Bob, wasn't it? it was no, Bob. no. But you know what? The worst breakup? So I moved across the country to be with this guy. He lived in L.A. We lived in this beautiful, beautiful place. Um, like a, a flat, I guess, if you will. It had a pool on the roof, the whole bit. Oh, wow. Okay, so I moved across the country with a guy, and I, I kid you not, my gut told me that he was seeing hookers when I met him. When I met him. Did you, like other people, or did you specifically know hookers? hookers. Or was he I didn't know anything. 
anything. It's like guys that like fishing. No, my gut said, because I was still in love with my ex at the time, and I had told him, right. and then he left the pool, and, and shockingly, my ex was there too, the love of my life. And, uh, and I've talked about him, Matthew. Anyway, so they were friends. Oh, yeah, she throws him out right yeah. away, you Cause, bastard cause, Matthew. Because I'm not putting him down, although, you know, I can say things, but whatever. The <laughs> point is, no, but you said, she said, worst breakup, okay? I find out the guy's seeing hookers, and I prove it, because I went on his computer, and I'll tell you why. I didn't even have an email at the time. I didn't know anything about computers. I, I just never want, I hate technology. I hate it. So, and I, and I fight it all the way. That's I why went you're on, doing a tab cast. Exactly. <laughs> well, you're doing it. I'm not doing shit, but it's showing up. Right? I wouldn't have what the hell to do. Take a picture, here. take a picture, take a picture. Right, take a picture. exactly. Picture, picture, picture. So I find out, and, and here I was thinking he's going to be like, because we got along so well. We were talking about getting married the whole bit. Moving, getting married, getting a house. I was in heaven. How long was it when you were dating him before you moved? I think it was like two years. Oh, wow. Oh, dating him before I moved to see him? Yeah. Like a few months maybe. But I, you know how you feel like this is the yeah. person? I felt that way about him because I was like, there's something about him. I can't explain it. I could be myself in front of him. He was cool. He loved music. I right. love music. He was extremely intelligent. He was an engineer, which I love. The whole bit. Well, I found out he's seen hookers. So I go on the computer. I see all these fucking fuckbuddy.com and all these sites. And I printed them out because I knew he was going to say, you're crazy. Are you sure he just wasn't like looking at porn? Dude. That, that was he was going to get, when he was going to get, <laughs> Thank you, Maria. Thank you. And, and I'm, I'm an Inspector Gadget myself. Well, I'm not unless I have to be. And every time I have had to be, I've always found out no, something. Exactly. That's what's so sad. Yeah. Well, he comes home because he went to Vegas for a Cisco convention, which is computer convention, oh. and didn't call me the first night. That's when I went to the computer. When I didn't get a phone call, I knew, and I felt it in my gut. And I was right. Yeah. And that feeling is horrible. Oh, that feeling. I was up all night long. He comes back, and I'm thinking he's going to say, like, I'm so sorry when I tell him, you know, I'll work it out, whatever, anything. Like, I'll stop. I'll, I'll get help. Anything. He was like, I want you out of here in five days. Talk oh, about, shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's I horrible. have still not recovered from this, did and I'll tell you why. Did you go from L.A. straight to Vegas, or did you go back to New I Jersey? went from New Jersey to L.A., and when he said that I was scrambling to get a place right. here, and there was nothing. This was, I think, in 05. There was nothing yeah, here. there was shit for housing. There was nothing because everything, it was, the market was good. Yeah. So I... I was a wreck because I had to pack my shit with a guy that I was in love with that cheated on me with fucking hookers, scumbag motherfucker. Say his name. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think you should say his No, I'm not going to say his name. You I don't want to I don't want to get killed or yeah, something. But what if like there's some girl dating him right now that just did the exact same I can't, fucking thing I can't say the name. I just can't do that because that would make me an asshole. It really would. Let him be the asshole. Maybe he'll he, knows, he knows who he is and one day he'll see this. Okay? Mm -hmm. I've never gotten an apology. Five days later, and let me just tell you my fucking I was in the ground. I was so dead. I was like, I couldn't believe that this guy did this to me and he's kicking me out. Right. And I moved across the country. So I had to leave in five days. And How I was, was that five days? It was the worst five days of my yeah, life. That's fucked. It was horrible. And it, it just was, and it was a lot of torture, a lot of like um, verbal torture, right. like putting me down. And what I discovered, and I wish I was strong enough to know this at the time, when someone puts you down, it's because they don't feel good about themselves. Well, you know what's fucked up is that when people fuck up and then you tell them that they fucked up, then they want to call you a bitch. You right. Know, that or you shouldn't have been looking at my computer. You I've never once looked at it. The one time that, I look. Mm. Yeah. That line right there, it's like crazy. To yeah. Me. I yeah. can't stand it. And it hurts me. It makes me want to just, you know, go on a rampage. <laughs> right. No, you know what? It's, I'm with you. Oh, yeah. How I'll dare you tell me I shouldn't have looked? Right. If I didn't look, I wouldn't have known. Exactly. And that would have made me a dumb know? bitch. Exactly. Right. I'm not a dumb bitch. Right. Right, and I would have stayed with that guy and got AIDS, maybe? Who knows? Oh, Who knows? Wow, he's and got I AIDS caught him all of a sudden. Well, I caught him in a line. Sure you got herpes lips? And you know how you're a germaphobe. Even that I'm a germaphobe. Oh, yeah. thought of him, you know, f hooking up with hookers and coming to you and kissing you. And, yeah. No, you know, it gets it was, worse. That's it gets worse. Thing. I am a really cool, fun chick, right? And sometimes I can be naive, but I'm so fucking intelligent. Right. I asked him, I said, did you always wear condoms, right? And he said, yes. Of course he's going to say yes. Of course. I tricked him. I said, later on, I said, so what was the most crazy experience you had with these hookers? And he finally told me that he had them on, this is so fucking disgusting, he had these girls on his knee, on their knees, and he was jerking off into their, this is so fucking disgusting, oh God. into their mouths. And I said, oh, so you didn't have a condom on. So his dick was touching different mouths. Well, you oh don't usually God. wear a yeah. condom with a blowjob. So 
sorry, Mom. But that sucks still. Yeah. No, it wasn't a... Yeah, well, yeah. He was maybe he was thought they were baby birds. But uh, anyway, <laughs> so now that I'm all depressed... I was, well, could you have a drink? I don't drink, but I think I'll drink some water. <laughs> I'm all dehydrated from telling that story. I know, right? <laughs> Go ahead, Mike, you talk. I don't have hand sanitizer. <laughs> No, yeah, but I've been through those. I haven't moved across the country from somebody, but the whole you catch me doing so. Have you really? And I'm only 18. Oh, goodness. What was yeah. this? Damn, and you was like actually, after me? <laughs> she's actually she's lost me in my recent uh, relationship. She, you know, I was very scared that I was going to lose her. So I moved back here and left everything in California. Okay. Uh, you know, stopped. I didn't finish high school. I came straight here and I lived with my crazy prostitute, you know, friend. Wait, wait, was he t- she dating my ex? <laughs> no, she was dating my ex after, you know. Oh, maybe my ex and your ex. Maybe, I'm not sure. Oh, my God. But, um, I'm not against prostitution, just so you know. I'm not. Wait, what? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> no. This, this Let her tell a story and then we'll talk about that. But, um, I was very scared that I was going to lose her, so <laughs> I just went away. <laughs> and everything just went to shit. Uh, uh, you know what? That always happens when you move for somebody. I noticed oh. that, like, when I moved for him and my ex moved for me, it just, for some reason, and it's it's the test of a relationship. How long were you together for before? A year and seven. For. Before or after you came here? Uh, we like, were together for uh, six months. Right. Oh, after wow. I moved. That sucks. Yeah. All right. And you just decided to stay here. And I decided to well, stay here. Well, I'm glad you're here, Maria. Yeah, we love having you here. Thank you. We do. She adds a lot yeah. to the show. I'm not against prostitution. I'll tell you why. Why? What? Are you guys serious? I'm very I'm so against it's prostitution. So, okay, I'm not, and I'll tell you why. Wait, let me tell you why first, so you can tell me what you think. Right. Men love sex, women love money. Okay? That's dumb. So right. what the fuck? Look, no, okay. why is it not right? Wait, okay, see, this is my problem with I need to pay my bills. This is my problem with women. Very <laughs> This town No, I'm breeds, kidding. But this town breeds a certain type of woman. Because when guys stop the fucking I think every town breeds a certain type no, of woman. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I mean, if this town breeds a woman that, you, if you can't fucking, you don't want to go out and, and wait on tables, you don't want to go out and fucking do this, that, and the other, you can go take a top off for 20 bucks or 20 minutes and fucking and make five thousand dollars. That's not true because I did it. I didn't take my top off, but you can make about a thousand. Damn, I'd rather go take my top off. <laughs> it's not five thousand dollars in ten minutes. Well, five thousand dollars in ten minutes is a prostitute. Sorry. That's exactly. That. So I mean, I don't know. It's just I, I'm fucking against prostitution. You know what? I'm not, and that's why it's so funny. If that guy would have talked to me, you know, I'm not that I would have said, okay, you could do it, but I would have said it's either me what or if them. Kid, ever want to be a prostitute? You know what? I don't want to raise your. You know what? Down. We got kids growing up killing people. We got got kids growing up, uh, drugs, right. we've got all kinds of shit, wait, what time is it? We got it. Yeah. Fuck, it's almost too, too early, prostitution. Well, fuck, we'll write it down. All right, write, <laughs> write it down. All right, well, we're signing out, sorry, uh, next time call us, please, please go on and vote for our, our show on usiawards.com, <laughs> vote for I hate him but I date him, you can put in whatever information, a lot of people don't want to go on there because they don't want to put on their information, just put 1313 Mockingbird Lane or something, I don't know, and then vote for I hate him but I date him. No, that's the the monsters. Oh, it is. Huh? Okay. <laughs> that's oh, cool. wow. Right one. Where it's from. Yeah. You know where it's from. He's a, he's bright. Trust me, girls. Anything else? Do we forget anything else? Um. Uh, that show. All right. Bye bye. Signing bye. out. Bye. <laughs>